Hello and welcome back again. My name is Jesse and then in today's one of tutorial on natural language processing with JavaScript. We're trying to see how to work with stemming, right? So what is stemming? So stemming is a process of reducing a word to its base form or stem or root form. So the purpose of stemming is to help us to normalize words and it makes the work of searching more efficient because if you're able to normalize the words, you're able to find the root word and then be able to find synonyms of it, which is very, very interesting. Okay. So now let's see what to do with it. So first of all, you just need to import a package with require, or you can use import if you want. Now let's see what I mean. So we have two particular stemmers for this particular package. So we have the Porter stemmer and then the Lacaster stemmer. So we can use any of them. So to work with it, you just go with console.log. That is the name of to output our result, right? And then just go with natural. Natural dot then Porter stem right. So the Porter stemmer, this is how to work with it. So just go with stem. Then here we're going to supply all the whatever we want to work, our token that we want to work with. So we go with it with let's give it some a word like so run. You know that the word running is we have several words that are similar to run. So where's where's like running runner run. So all these words, I don't know that they runs, all of these words are similar, right? They have a base root form. So with the port stemmer or the stemmer stemming, you just be able to reduce all these words to its base form. So now let's see what I mean by that when you run this particular script. So let's go with node, then the name of the file. If you check it, the answer was run, right? So run is the base form, is the stem for this particular word stemming, particular token. Okay, so this package is not only just for English, it also supports other languages. So now let's see how to try an example with one of the other languages, which is going to be, let's use Russian. It also supports Russian, French, Spanish. So let's give a word in Russian. So to change it to Russian, just go with portastema.ru, right? Then be able to work with it perfectly. So let's give it a word in Russian, which is going to be Gabarit. So Gatovish. Katovich, right? A word that, which means to prepare or to cook. Katovich. Right? Katovich. Katovich, like this is a Russian word, right? It means to cook or to prepare or to be ready. Okay. So now let's see how to, how it means, right? So with this particular stuff, let's check the, the root word for this. And we check it, it's going to give us as Katov, right? Which is very interesting because Katov means ready. Or prepared right so that is it so that means you can use it for Russian and also use it for French or Spanish so that is very interesting there's one nice thing about this package so for French just go with FR we have to change it to FR for French right so you can use it for any French word that you have whatever French word you have maybe something like comprend right to understand or complete or something so it's going to give us the base form of this particular word and i hope it works well <laughs> i'm sure it's going to work well complete I, I don't know how it's give us this particular stuff it's, it sometimes it works sometimes it work. so that is the main idea about post statement so this is one of the ways of working with it right but there's also another fun particular function that you can also use which is the attach method so the, the dot attach method so dot attach allows us to be able to do several stuff so let's say you have a group of words instead of you have a group of sentences or you want to tokenize you want to tokenize the words and find the stem of it that is when we use the dot attach it allows us to do something very interesting and it allows us to be able to move it from this particular long format to a short format so now let's see what i mean so just go here so something like this I go with natural dot the post tema right post tema then if I go with attach right the moment I go with attach like this I'll be able to work without this long procedure so let's try that one and see how it's going to work now I can just go straight away and just do console dot log and this console.log, I can just go straight away with stem instead of 
going with the long procedure of doing all this particular plenty stuff and just keep it a particular way like this so let's say running then I go dot stem so dot stem is just going to work perfectly like the previous one I had. so let me comment this one out and then let's run it and see So that it give us run, run right so this is a short format this is a short format so if you go with natural pot potter stem dot attach it makes it simple so that you need to work with simple stuff like dot dot stem sort of going with the long process of natural post stem dot stem then the token okay that is not the only thing you can also use to tokenize the group of ways so an example is also dot log this i have a sentence like he was running to the flowing stream right to the flowing stream let's give it a way like this so with this particular sentence with you want to find the stems of this particular way right he was running or let's make it the runner that is, sounds nice the runner was running to the flowing streams right you want to find the tokens as well as the stems of it so to do that you can just use this with this particular format to be easier for us to do it's in this way so it's going to be dot right then token nice and stem hope it's correct yep token nice and stem so with this if i run it let's go with this and then let's save it run it and see See perfect so that it was able to tokenize it. So don't take this way, tokenize the stems, right? So the runner, runner, run, flow streams. So it is able to convert running to run. I don't know why it couldn't convert runner. <laughs> and maybe, that, maybe that's not an English word. Then flow, flowing to flow, and then stream to stream, which is very interesting. So it is very powerful in this particular aspect. Okay, so the next one we can also do is a final one, which is just like the previous one we did. You can just instead of making it as post timer, you can also try the the Lancaster, right? Lancaster stem and it's still going to work in the same way that we had. Let's say we're like acute. Then if you work with this particular word, okay, and then let's run it. So Agu will give us Agu. I don't know why a Lancaster and a post stem give Agu as Agu. Anyway, maybe that's the base way. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, can just put it in the comment section so everybody can benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe and share. Stay blessed.